Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Includability Shorts, a series of short, snappy chats stuffed with hot tips from our incredible includability partner experts. I'm delighted to be joined today by the awesome Matt Locke, co-founder at B Corp Certified Outliers Wellbeing, Athlete Services Manager at Switch the Play, First Team Manager at Worcester City Women's FC, and of course, our brilliant wellbeing verification partner for Includability. Matt, so wonderful to see you as always, mate. And there seems to be more understanding now as to why wellbeing is so essential to a happy workplace culture, but perhaps confusion as to how to get started. What would be your guidance around where companies could perhaps begin? I, I think, first off, I've been in this space for 10 years and well, actually yeah. more than that now. And it's, it's great to see that the well-being is, is sitting at the top table um, and it's taken its time to get there. And I think for my first tip is that's where it has to sit. There's definitely some push and pull to this and you want the kind of the bottom up and the top down approach. But I think it has to be championed by the leadership within the business because ultimately they are in a position of responsibility. People look up to them. People follow their lead and they are seen as role models. So it starts there. I think that what's been a really interesting conversation, and I've certainly bought into this over the last few years, is, is well-being isn't, um, shouldn't be confused with perks. And perks are great. We all love a perk. Everyone loves yoga on a Friday morning and um, some free fruit and some lunch and learns and some talks on resilience and mental health. But it has to run deeper than that. For me, well-being is something that you feel. It's about the culture. It's about um, what are the behaviours within the business? How do people respond to adversity? So my, my key point there is, is don't let data and insights and engagement surveys kind of cloud how you feel about when you turn up to work or how when you dial into calls that's going to be the important stuff so really trying to understand the culture of your business and the leadership behaviors will have such a formidable effect on well-being there is some other tips that i think is important i mean i've mentioned data and i don't think we should always be driven by data but data is important and i, I don't think you should bombard your team with surveys but just finding out what they're thinking, what they're feeling and what they would like is incredibly important and how they view the company, in essence. I would say that um, a positive tone is incredibly important. I don't believe this has to be doom and gloom. Mental health and well-being is something that is incredibly serious. But let's also make it fun. Let's make it enjoyable. Let's make it light touch. Let's ensure that kind of the values that your business has are really coming through. And then and then the other bit is, is variety. And I think that's going to be my final point. Really pay attention to the fact that everyone is different. Okay, there will be your people that want to, to sit there, they want to get involved with everything, and, and they will be very visible and you'll be able to say that, yes, they're on the journey. But I suppose the biggest thing is, is, is how do we ensure that everyone's getting wrapped up in the well-being provision that you put on for your people? I think I'd like to to close just by saying, just go for it and make a start. You, if you're coming from the right place, people will feel that. People will understand that. And also, you're probably going to get some stuff wrong. You're probably going to need to make a few U-turns. There's going to be some initiatives you put in place that don't often come off. But the fact that you might be listening to this video and going, yes, I need to make a start is the most important thing. And, um, and back yourself because it's um, you, you'll be fighting the good fight, believe in it, and then just keep pushing. Matt, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. And like, what a joy to catch up with you as always. Thank you for all of your time. And to everyone who's just watched our latest Includability Short, obviously, thank you for joining us. And, and for those more light bulb moments, please do head over to weareincludability.co.uk or you can check out our YouTube or Spotify channels. Let's keep learning, let's keep growing, and let's keep making our workplace cultures more inclusive, more diverse, and mentally healthy together. Have a great day, everyone.